The entire country of Ukraine has become a sort of a training ground and uh, urban warfare uh, drills are being conducted in the town of Chernobyl as well, one of the most radioactive places in the world. Uh, gunfire is echoing through the deserted uh, streets and apartment blocks of Pripyat and residents of course here were evacuated following the Chernobyl nuclear disaster of 1986 and that makes this place ideal for Ukrainian forces to train. But this training also comes with its own set of risks. Our next report tells you why. This is Pripyat, an abandoned town in the north of Ukraine. Just over 10 kilometers away from the Belarus border, the ghost town is part of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, which means that no one lives here. Everyone was evacuated after the nuclear reactor disaster in 1986. But for the Ukrainian troops, this makes Pripyat perfect. They can train here. They can practice clearing armed attackers, target mortar fire and take on snipers in urban conditions. The purpose of these exercises was to work out the scenario, the seizure of the premises and its liberation, what you saw by the National Guard. The second is to practice the work of a sniper couple. You've seen how it works. But conducting exercises here has its own risks. Ahead of the training, workers with Geiger counters had to scan the route to ensure that there are no radioactive hotspots. The control shows 0, 18 microsieverts at a rate of 0 0.5. That is, it's absolutely safe to be in this area. Ukraine's defense minister points to the difficult terrain as a major obstacle and the threat from radiation if they try to push through the exclusion zone. I can confidently tell you that as of today, the concentration of Russian troops for exercises in Belarus is insufficient for an offensive operation. For now, security has been stepped up around all nuclear reactors, including the Chernobyl site, which remains covered by a mammoth protective sarcophagus. But the troops here are not training to counter a full-scale Russian invasion. They are instead preparing for the threat from uniformed infiltrators, those who may seize buildings and stir unrest across the country. For Ukraine's authorities, this type of internal destabilization remains their biggest worry. The Ukrainian forces have got a shot in the arm. Uh, they are being supplied by the latest weapons uh, uh, and uh, the NATO forces have been deployed in Europe. Uh, here's a report from the Yavoriv military base in western Ukraine. This is the Yavoriv military base in western Ukraine. Ukrainian troops are busy checking these brand new weapons. These anti-tank missiles, launchers and other military hardware have been sent by the United States. These weapons will help stop military vehicles, damage them, and in the urban environment, they will allow us to destroy buildings where the enemy hides. These weapons are part of a $200 million security package to help Kiev as it braces for a possible Russian military offensive. But the ground troops say they need more ammunition. We need more ammunition. We need more practice. It is great we had the opportunity to train today, but we need to train every day. It was good to receive 2,000 weapons, but we need more. More weapons, more explosives and more targeting instruments, definitely. In the face of Russia's latest build-up, some Western allies, led by the United States, have stepped up deliveries of arms to Kiev that could be used to ward off an attack. The United States has provided some $2.5 billion in military aid since 2014, and training from NATO allies, including Canada and Britain, has helped bolster battle readiness. Also, after years of conflict, Ukraine's forces are combat experienced and highly motivated. Despite the improvements, military analysts say Ukraine's military remains massively outgunned and outmanned by Moscow's vastly superior armed forces.
The Russians have deployed more than 100,000 troops along the border uh, and they've also set up field hospitals, blood banks. Of course, Moscow denies that it plans to invade Ukraine, uh, but the Ukrainians are not taking any chances. Uh, here's a report on the kind of drills being conducted by the Russian military in preparation for what could be an invasion. Russia is busy holding multiple drills around Ukraine's border. Ground drills in Voronezh region, some 300 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, a series of exercises on ground, air and water. However, Moscow asserts that it has no intentions to invade Ukraine. But on ground, the big guns are booming. These live fire exercises are held in Western Belarus. This is Moscow's biggest deployment to Belarus since the Cold War. The presence of a large Russian force in Belarus has added to Western fears that Russia could be preparing to attack Ukraine on multiple fronts. But Kiev does not believe Russia is capable of mounting an invasion of Ukraine from the territory of Belarus. As of today, along Ukraine's border with Belarus and the Russian Federation, we do not observe the formation of a strike group. Today, Russia's cumulative forces, taking part in exercises in Belarus, number several thousand, which is not enough to carry out an independent invasion. Belarus says the exercises are needed due to military build-ups in Ukraine, Poland and the Baltic states. The scale of the deployments and drills points to the ever-increasing alliance between the ex-Soviet neighbors. With the number of troops increasing, the situation remains tense. As world leaders continue to engage in hectic parleys and backroom diplomacy to avert a full-blown crisis. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.